on to the article. Bethesda now is trying to bang it out with Sony over crossplay. All right. Let me just read you an article real quick. So I, got, I, I got to get rolling. I got to get rolling. How much time I got? I got, okay. So, uh, where's that article at? Let me bring it up for y'all. Let me bring it up for you good people. All right. So here goes the article. It is, Bethesda's Todd Howard suggests Sony preventing Fallout 76 crossplay. It's a well-known point that Sony is behind the block of crossplay between the PlayStation 4 and other consoles. Something Sean Layton says they're currently ex- examining, you know what I mean, blah, 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 blah. All right, so here's what Todd Layton, I mean, uh, how, uh, damn, Todd Layton. Here's what Todd Howard had to say, uh, um, and he's the, you know, one of the creative directors of, um, at Bethesda. So Todd Howard is directly asked about crossplay for this year's Fallout game, Fallout 76. He says, we would love to do that, Howard said, but right now, that is not possible, okay? That's not possible. Then Howard pauses for a second, then begins... Sony isn't being as helpful as we want them to be. Okay. So with Bethesda is a big time, you know, Bethesda is a big deal. And with Bethesda being a big deal, will this finally force Sony's hand in the crossplay? I mean, they be getting hammered. The stock prices have gone up. You know, they're seeing success from the stock price, but they're getting hammered. So what does this mean for Sony? Okay. And does this even matter? What does this mean now? First and foremost, it just means that it just it just underlines that Bethesda Bethesda has a rocky history with Sony, and it, it's well it starts with last generation. As as Bethesda was trying to, to to promote its westernized style game, which was Fallout 3, and then Bioshock was coming out around the same time. Sony wasn't really receptive to it, to where Microsoft took it as opportunities to help invest in those products and help them come to fruition. So that's why you have so much accolades given to Microsoft from from Bethesda and Todd Howard in particular. Now, as Sony has seen the success, they've been a little bit more welcoming to to, um, Bethesda and the crew, but there's always been some tension between them. The tension is is also between the mod part where Sony was like really... um, they really like backpedal from allowing them to, to do the mods on the PlayStation for Fallout 4 opposed to Microsoft and so forth and so forth. There is no love lost here. And I can tell you first and foremost, Todd Howard does not like Sony, but they got to deal with them business wise because they're the console lead. Um, is this going to mean something? No, I don't think so. There's just always been tension here. I don't think it's going to mean anything. Um, they're, Sony, Sony, let, let, let me say this, Porter, the homie Porter Rock, he's triple B affiliated, he's not triple B, but he's like family, okay, so I just want to clear the air for it so nobody get it misconstrued, Porter Rock, the homie, dropped a video, and where he just let you know, none of these gaming companies are your friend, and he let you, he, and he said something very important that, Sony is not, or the market leader is not going to do crossplay, and not all publishers and developers are going to support it because it goes against them making money. Let's just say I'm gonna pick on Tip Diamond. Let's just say Tip Diamond got a PlayStation, I got an Xbox. I want to play Destiny with Tip Diamond. If I want to play Destiny with Tip Diamond, right now I gotta buy another copy of Destiny. Now, if I promote crossplay, that's a copy of Destiny that is not being sold, that is lucrative for Activision and also lucrative for PlayStation, for Sony, because they get money off the royalty fees, all right? And then for server usage or whatever, when I buy DLC, it don't matter. I'm not getting that money there. That's just not a wise business decision. This is why crossplay will never come to fruition. And that was a very good point brought up by Porter Rock. You gotta respect Sony's business gangster when it comes to crossplay. And you got to respect the market leader's business when it comes to cross-play. Look, there's only two reasons why Microsoft and Nintendo want to do it. Microsoft no longer cares to be the number one honcho. They just want to be a popular option. Nintendo, on the other hand, is fine being the side console to the more hardcore-minded Xbox or PlayStation. Therefore, they know that in all likelihood from here on out, 
by judging by the regular litmuses that we go by that Sony for now on is going to be the number one hardware software seller when it comes to games. They may not always make the most money, but they're going to be so they're going to have that litmus in the bag, okay? Because they're going to have that litmus in the bag, they're going to have more saturation, right? This is going to benefit Nintendo and Xbox because they've decided that being number one is not their goal. They're successful not being number one, okay? So that's why they've taken this stance, period. And Sony wisely is not taking the stance. Now where I think Sony is messing up, they need cross progression. On that same token, me using that Destiny model, if Tip got a PlayStation and I wanna play with Tip, I may buy it if I know that all my shit will transfer over to the PlayStation. I am less likely to buy it if I know I gotta start from scratch, and especially in a game like Destiny. So Sony is losing out by not having cross progression because someone that hasn't bought it, not only does it screw the people that already bought the game, but a potential buyer could just pass it, nah, I'm not gonna get it on a PlayStation because they gotta start from scratch. I would, uh, I would under, under that scenario, if I wanted to play Destiny, I would buy two Destinies under that scenario if I knew my shit could switch back and forth. That way Sony could still make money off of royalty fees, off the sale of the game, and potential DLC that I might buy on the PlayStation system if they have a sale. They just gotta be more aggressive and competitive and say, well, that same scarf that you're getting on the Xbox, you get $5 less, $5 taken off of it here on PlayStation. It just opens up another business model that they got to fight for, which is better for us. So they're, they're, they're screwing themselves over by not doing cross progression. But cross play, it's not going to happen. So in, in closing, but that because I got to go. With that being said, was it worth Todd doing this? No, it just further cements. I mean, it's not a negative thing. It just further cements that Bethesda really don't care for so. You gotta understand why this is being done. Like I said, Microsoft and Nintendo have an agenda when it comes to this. They no longer want to have the highest saturation when it comes to hardware. So they're not losing out on crossplay. They would benefit. Where Sony still cares about the traditional business litmuses. Don't get fooled into this. Cross progression is needed though, because it will help everybody. You know what I'm saying? It will benefit and it will definitely benefit Sony in this case. But again, there's more fluff in this story than there is than there is meat and potatoes, and it is what it is. So with that being said, my friends, I appreciate all of y'all for joining your boy. I want to thank Tip Diamond and Philosopher Doom in the chat. I know I did this real quick, um, and, I, and I appreciate y'all. Cyrus Burke as well. Um, you know, I had to address that a little bit, but, it's, but I, I, I've said my mark, so whatever. Big up to all my family. Big up Smash Podcast is about to come on, I think, in 30 minutes. Check out my bros there. It's a wonderful show. Check out whatever Triple B is doing as well. After Smash Podcast, though, TRS is running the TRS Fusion Wolf stream of Destiny 2. And he's going to run Far Cry 5 and some other games, too. So if you're a big Destiny 2, Far Cry 5, whatever it is, I don't know what he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to be involved in that somehow. So with that said, let your boy get this furniture before my wife beat my ass to the white meat. I appreciate all of y'all, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.